Hello guys, this is Mac Pilar. Nagsasabi na try and try until you die. If you die, at least you try. I will discuss now the nature's rule, cosine law and sine law, and the two rules of nature's rule, which is the sine co-op and sine tanan. Okay, let's go. Um, I will discuss now the Napier's rule, the right spherical triangle. I know and we know that you have uh, knowledge on this and you are familiar on this topic. This is sample of a uh, triangle and this is the Napier's circle. And we have a sine co-op rule, sine tanad rule. Then next is the sine law. This is the formula for the sine law. Then the cosine law for sides, cosine law for angles. So now we need to solve a problem. The problem is a spherical triangle ABC has an angle C 90 degrees and sides A 50 degrees and side 80 degrees. Find the value of side B in degrees. The next, we need to identify where is the sides and the angles. We need to draw a triangle to identify it. The given is side C and side A. The 50, 80 degrees and 50 degrees. Then we need to draw a Napier circle. Then we put the sides and the angle in clock twice. But the 90 degrees is not included here. Just look the angle C, then the missing part of the angle C is the angle A, side C, and angle B. Then next, this is the this is the complement part of this Napier circle. Then for this problem, we need to find the value of side B. The side B is not uh, N. The given is complement C and side A. So that we need to use a sine co-op rule. The sine co-op rule is C complement is our middle part in this problem. Sine C is equal to cosine B and cosine A. The next sine complement of C is 90 degrees minus the 80 degrees. This is side C equals cosine B cos A. The, the, the side A is given, which is 50 degrees. Then, next, we need to to transpose it. Transpose it because to solve the, the side B. Then, cosine B is equal to sine 10 degrees. Why 10 degrees? Because 90 degrees minus 80 degrees is equals to sine 10 degrees over cosine 50 degrees next this is the solve uh, the calculator a b or we use the arc cosine arc cosine 0 decimal 27 then the result is b is equals to 74.33 or side b is equals to 74 point 33 degrees so, so now we go on the next part so for the remaining side of the spherical triangle whose given part are angle A and B is equal to 80 degrees and side A and B is equal to 89 degrees so on the, the triangle if we input here in this triangle the B and angle A is equal to 80 degrees. Then, as per instruction, A and, A and B sides is equal also. For this problem, we need to get the half part of this, this triangle to attach here in the Napier circle. Then, for the 
the angel here is a C over 2. Then a side of 89 degrees. 80 degrees for the angel. Then for this part is C over 2. For the Napier circle, we need to attach here in clockwise direction. Like this, H. Then C over 2. 89 degrees. 80 degrees and C over 2 no. just remember the right angle is not included here in Napier's circle then the given is angle A and B is equal to 80 degrees side A and side B is equal to 89 degrees so the we need to find the distance or the length of this side C this is then so for this problem we need to use a sine tan and rule sine is is 80 degrees 80 degrees tan 89 degrees tan c over 2 so look the Napier's circle the 89 degrees and 80 degrees is given. Then, if you look the triangle, this is the C part that we need to we need to find, not this angle. If we use this angle, it is not appropriate to use this C over two. Even though it is same in the name, but we need to use use the adjacent of C over two here then the middle part is 80 degrees not the 89 degrees like this the middle part is 89 then for for this problem we need to use 80 degrees as our middle part the next sign 90 degrees minus 80 degrees as per the rule equals tan 90 degrees minus 89 degrees tan quantity c over 2 the 90 is the complement complement this is complement sin 80 degrees is a complement side then the tan 80 degrees is complement as you can see how can you see the complement side here in the triangle just look in the right right angle right angle then this is side, this side is a part of complement, complement side. C over 2 is a complement, 89 degrees is a complement, then 80 degrees is a complement. Tan C over 2 is equal to sa sine 10 degrees. Why sine 10 degrees? Because 90 degrees minus 80 degrees is 10 degrees. Then over tan 1 degrees. Why 1 degrees because 90 degrees equals 90 degrees minus 89 degrees if we use the calculator that we need to use here in the solving the result is 9 decimal 948 last part of this problem c over 2 is equals arctan quantity 9.948 quantity if we use the, the calculator for the sheet tan, and we get the 84 decimal 26 degrees, the C, the C is equals to 168.52 degrees. This is the, the C here in the triangle. So next, we need to solve for angle C of the oblique spherical triangle ABC given, the given is side A, side C, and angle A. For the side A, it is 80 degrees. For side C, it is 115 degrees. And for the angle A, it, it, it is 72 degrees. The next one is we need to draw the triangle to identify all the angles and sides. Then so, solve for angle C. So we need to solve for this angle angle C. Then for these matters, we need to use the sine law. 
which is sine side C over sine angle C is equal to sine side A over sine angle A. So, the sine side C is we need 2 times to the sine angle A. The next, sine angle C, angle C, angle C is equal to sine side C, sine angle A over sine side A. All of the given distribute for this uh, problem. Then sine angle C is equal to sine 115 degrees. Then sine times sine 72 degrees, which is the angle, angle A, over sine 80 degrees, the side A. Then if we use our calculator to solve it, the sine angle C is equal to 0 0.87 52 degrees. The next, we need to transpose the sine to make the sine to arc sine. Then next, C is equal to arc sine times 0 0.8752 degrees. Then for the answer is C is equal to 61.06 or 07 degrees. Then for the verification, to verify the answer is correct, sine 180 degrees minus angle C equal to sine angle C. Therefore, sine 180 degrees minus 61.07 degrees is equal to 118.93 degrees. So, if we use our calculator, sine 180 degrees minus 61.07 degrees over sine 61.07 degrees, the answer is 1. So, it is correct. Then, we have a, we have a, another angle that we need to consider as a answer. 118.93 degrees. So now, for, the, for this problem, a spherical triangle has an area of 327.25 square kilometers. What is the radius, radius, radius of the sphere if its spherical excess is 30 degrees? So now, next is we need to draw the triangle to identify or indicate the square kilometers which is 327.25 for the formula of spherical excess, area, and radius. This is the formula. For the spherical excess, angle A plus angle B plus angle C minus 180 degrees. Then for the areas, pi r squared times spherical excess over 180 degrees. Then, for the instruction, what is the radius? What is the radius? This is what we need to find. Radius squared is equal to 180 degrees times areas over pi spherical excess. The next, radius is equal to square root of 180 degrees times area. This is the area. 327.5. 25 square kilometers over over pi pi this is the pi and the spherical excess spherical excess is given a while ago then if you use the calculator or scientific calculator the answer is for the radius is 25 kilometers this is the final answer okay now i hope you learned something about this video thank you god bless and keep safe